เพียรรเพียรพีรอ uh, one more thing when you put your name on the slide please put the, the full name okay not only that and correct name you don't you don't need to okay you can start up please Okay, are you ready? Not yet, it's time. Wait, tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you can start now. Alright, And you are Sister, sister, my um, could you uh? If, if you don't know how to share flight, I can share for you. Hello, teacher. So, sift down the can uh you can start now this fifth. Yeah, you you can move the move the cap in there please. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs>
people had to fast for 12 hours was to earn an explicit had, had my wisdom to move young uh, a lot and chat swells up and speak the most. Three was uh, three was diagnosed with kidney disease was put on uh, very list took up in a uh, rehabilitation program finally found a donor had a transplant four cell three fingers lost a lot of blood had a finger back on and went extensive physical therapy and began filling in the finger five broke his leg uh, in his crest got an infection had part of the leg um bullet had an operation operation to insert mental pins got a uh, prosthetic limb and the last ones found a lamp had to operation to help it uh, Hello, sister. <laughs> Move clap out. Excuse me, the uh, sister, I can do the slide. See the fly, or you don't see the fly? Oh, you stop setting, sis. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, uh, sister, can you see it now? Hi, right? Hide the slide. Stop hiding down here, So please don't hide the slide. If you hide the slide, nobody can see. <laughs> nobody. Don't hide. Now can you see it? No. Oh, like the big thing. If no. Yeah. No. Can you see now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you please? Uh, continue to back language. Um, back language is the language that uh, talk about something without really saying uh, what is it. Uh, at first, we use kind of or sort of before working. Hello, please. Can you move your head? Yes. I'm already. Why you don't see? Move, 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 move the sound. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Groping <laughs> 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 uh, We use kind of or short of the proverb to show we can't find the exact word uh, we want. And using the next close word, for example, uh, for example, you kind of help to watch as the bull uh, thing happens. And we add also two number and period of time to show we are not being exact. For example, about a week or so ago. And we use some house before some work and after. So, uh, after to show, uh, we, we do, do not really know how something happened. For example, he told me that someone of my kids, some, uh, 
she told me that one of my, my kids had diet somehow. Uh, at, at last, uh, we used some kind of before now to show we are not sure what kind of exactly. We can add or something after now. For example, we start some kind of temporary feeling, feeling if it's an injection or something. And now go to the next slide. For example, number one, uh, somehow I asked for the kind of option, but they just ignore me. Two, he used kind of solution on my kids. Three, uh, uh, it should cost about 100 euro or so. Four, somehow they told me that their app was making blood pressure uh, in my brain or something. Five, somehow he makes line of the end of one of his finger. Number six, they use kind of chimneys before nights to make an injection. Seven, they was quite a traumatic birth, but they managed to deliver her after about an hour or so. And the last one, they just glue the skin back together again using some kind of clear plastic pad. And now, end of my path and move to my friend. Good evening, teacher, and uh, hello, all below classmates. I'm Sutira Lee. I'm from Group 5, so I'm responsible for vocabulary relating to medical condition. So, letter A, uh, can you please tell me, just, uh, just uh, do, you, do you hear me well? I can make sure that I... Uh, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Okay, 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 thank you. So letter A, replace the word in italic with synonym in the box. So let, let's take a look in the box. So we have 16 uh, words. So the first word is block up. So the, the second word is exacerbated. And the third is genetic. And fail, pass on, release, long term, shortage, stick to, swollen, tiredness, and treasure. So number one, Cut your motor skill to decorate our word tab. As you see, the word uh, Italy is the word Italy, decorate. So the word decorate means uh, to become worse. So in everyday English, uh, people often say get worse rather than decorate. So, so can you take a look in the box? So which word that we can replace or have the similar meaning with the word decorate? So number one, a uh, fail, yes. It means a uh, decorate. It can be replaced by the word fail. <laughs> Number two, uh, it can be aggravated by forceful and repetitive use of the hand. So the word aggravated means uh, to make the bad situation worse. So we can replace by the word exacerbated. Yes. And number three, she suffer from chronic pain in her lower back. A chronic pain or illness uh, that is long term, that is happen long term. So we can replace by the word uh, long term. Yes. Number four, if you don't treat it, it can lead to extreme fatigue. Too. Fatigue soon means uh, a, a feeling of being extremely tired. So we can replace by the word tiredness. Number five, most of the symptoms can be S by avoiding caffeine and cutting down on alcohol. So the word S here, we can replace by the word release. It means that lack of difficulty. You don't hurt it anymore or you discover from the, uh, the illness. So we can replace the word release. Move to number six, 
uh, it usually only transmitted to other people as a result of direct person to person contact over a period of time. So uh, the word transmitted here, you may know that transmitted as a pass on. It can be uh, replaced by the word pass on. Yes. Number seven, it runs in the family. It is a hereditary. It's a hereditary disorder. The word hereditary means that uh, the process by which uh, the mental and physical uh, quality are passed on from parent to child before the child born. So we can replace by the word genetic. Yes. Number eight, sufferer are supposed to maintain a strict diet. The word maintain means that uh, you stay on the same level. So we can replace that the word stick to. Yes. Number nine, they think it probably set up by stress. So the word set off uh, means that uh, you start to do something, but in written English, people often use treasure rather than set off. Yes. So the word set off and treasure, it means the same word. It means the, the same meaning, yes. Number 10, he's basically suffering from a lack of red blood cell. So lack of, the word lack of, it means that short H. Okay, in the net. Not okay. So, put the talk in half. Okay, uh, any problem with your internet, right, uh, Satira? Where is the presenter or is this coming? Good. Hello, teacher. Do you hear me very sure? Yeah. So, can you tell me uh, when is the internet connection was uh, unstable? I can tell yeah, you. Uh, I mean, uh, the internet uh, connection stable or not? At uh, number ten, I think. Huh? Oh, okay. I it mean that I press on uh, on number ten. Yes. 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 Press on was cut off. Okay. You mean okay. the slide? Okay. I don't know that internet connection is uh stable. Oh, you should go ahead, please. Then. Okay. Yeah. I, think you should, I, I think you should turn off your video due to your connection problem. Yeah, maybe. Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, เออเห็นตัวอีกเนี่ยนั่นน่ะได้คืนเนี่ยบ้านเราไปบ้านที่มุกไม้ไกลตัวใหญ่ๆไม้มุกเนี่ยได้คืนตาบุกมั่งเช
Oh, yung po nagsinamin kayo sa akin dahil. Oo, tsaka yung po niya. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, kung magkaki, kayo po mag-presentation. Yeah! Okay, uh, let's move to number 11. It basically caused the belly... Oh. Oh, the belly to... I cannot see the slide. I think you can move the bar, yeah. 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 It, it basically needs to become floated. Floated here, it means that uh, a liquid, it means full of liquid or gas that is, uh, that it comes from the disease. So uh, we can replace it by the word swollen. Here, so uh, the next, the last one is number 12. It puts the artery in the heart to slowly clock. Clock here means that uh, to become blocked or blocked by something. So we can replace it by the word block up. So that's all for my points here. So let's move to another presenter. Uh, she, will, she will be responsible more on the next part. Yes, good evening, teacher, and hello, everyone. My name is Hiron. Now I'm um, present question uh, about my point uh, about the grammar pen. It's talk about the grammar uh, <laughs> yeah, model verb. Hello, sis. Yeah. Yes. He is here. Of all, um, definition of the modal verb and generally, a modal verb is the term of the helping verb that is used to express like ability, uh, possibility, permission, probability, and advice. And in this case, we often use the modal verb like should, may, mind, could, must, can, and would. Uh, ending by how plus plus participle to recommend on the past activity or uh, past event. And when we use the different uh, modal verb in the sentence, so it means that uh, they change uh, the meaning also. And let's see the form modal verb plus how plus plus participle. And the first one may mind help participle. So we used to uh, talk about the sexual routine for the probability in the past. For example, uh, John may have missed the train. So in this sentence, uh, the speaker uh, just predict in the past uh, mean that John missed the past, but actually it's not so. And move to the next slide, please, sister. So, uh, my health and my health is a uh, different topic. So, we know that uh, my health, we used to talk about uh, something happened in the past, but uh, didn't happen. So, for example, like uh, the car come around the corner so fast, I might have been killed. So, um, in this sentence, uh, it could happen in the past, but it didn't happen. So, and we noticed that may and mind we also use in different way, like also for asking the polite question to someone. And for example, do you think you might have add too much water to your pen? And the second one could have participle, and we use it to talk about the ability and to offer the gentle uh, criticism in the past. It was able in the past, but uh, probably no longer uh, able now. Like example, you could have uh, passed your exam if you had studied as I told you. So in this sentence, unreal, because uh, it's happened uh, also, uh, it's happened also uh, you try to study hard, so you will pass the exam. And, uh, and the uh, example, you're an hour left and you could have let me know. And we know, uh, we know that uh, we use the code not help uh, to instead mustn't help for the negative sentence in the past. So move the next slide, sis. Okay. And 
The next point is talk about the should help participle. We use it to uh, in, in the past to talk about the past mistake or the past recommendation in the past, like uh, it didn't happen. So look at this example, you could have been there to our go. Sorry, there was traffic. In this sentence, it means that it should uh, happen in the past, but actually it's just the recommend uh, the subject in this sentence you, it wasn't there after two hours. And note that when we use the uh, student health in the negative sentence, it's pretty past criticism. For example, like we should not have, uh, should then have turned left before, and this is a wrong direction. And the next one, good health, Yes, good health participle. We use it to talk about the past uh, probability and or uh, and and their unreal consequence. And um, but it means that it's unreal. Uh, it's just uh, like the uh, common, but unreal. So let me move uh, this point to my friend Sophia. Yes, first of all, I would like to say good evening teacher and classmate. Okay, for my part is continue the modal verb. And here is the form of modal verb plus have been ing. Um, the form is could, should, would, may, might, must plus have been ing. Must, could, might, may, could, done, can't, may, not, and might not. I used to show how certain is because is that action is presently presently occurring occurring and um could may and might so that speaker is fifty percent or less certain that can action is in the progress. Um could dance could dance and can't so the speaker believe strongly that a uh, six situation is not taking place may not and might not um convey the the idea that a speaker 15 percent of less than certain um that is absent is not happen and here is the example i could have been relaxing at home if i didn't have to work today one more example they they should have been doing their homework at the time at, at the time, time that I call, he would have been working at that company if he did, if he had done he been had lit off. And the last is some Paul, you may have been thinking I was much older. Now let me turn the slide. And here is the exercise A in the book on page um, 25. Yes. Complete the sentence from this unit by choosing the correct form. One, I should have, I should have, may have got it done years ago, really. And the answer is, should have. Number two, he said, I must have, should have taken a knock. And the answer, number two is, should have. And number three, I'm not sure that I, I'm not sure, but I think it must have might have been my doctor actually um, stressing her arms and legs around. And the answer of number three is might have. Let's move to number four. That must not can't have been much fun. Much fun. And the answer is can't. Now let's move to number five. The doctors can have, should have considered um, this test condition as slowly, as slowly as they would have, as they would have or should have done. And the answer number five, um, the, the doctors should have considered this test condition um, as slow as they would have done. Astrology. And number six, 
They clearly should have my help look into other options. And the answer of number six is my help. Now let's move to the last. Okay, uh, we should have can have come to our own conclusion sooner, and that way, um, Dexter would done should not have had to go through all the trauma. And the answer number seven, we can have come to our own conclusion sooner, and that way, um, Dexter should not have had to go to go through all this trauma. Now let's move to exercise three. Exercise C. For the for the exercise C, work in pairs. Discuss the phrases in the pairs of sentences below, and find the way form are used. Number one A. That must that must have been nice. B. That can have been very nice. And the answer number one A is so that's nice. B um the answer number one B so that's not nice. Number two A it must have been because of all the fatty food. Number two B it it might it might have been because because all the stress and he is the answer number two a is so of all the fatty food number two b maybe it was but i'm not sure now let's move to number three a i couldn't have done anything about it even if i'm tired number three b the doctors couldn't have tired that hard okay and he is the the answer number three A is ninety five percent sure I didn't do, and the answer number three B is it's sure the doctors didn't tired. Number four he shouldn't have drive drive one up after the grass. Number four B he he shouldn't have been driving so fast, and the answer for A is sure. He should not try, but but he did. And the answer B is strong of he doing driving. And for the number number five A, it must have been hurting for him to go to the dentist. And number five B, it must have hurt having those teeth out. And the answer number five A, sure he sure he hurting. So he had think if he go to the dentist and number five B, so it hurt if he does his out. Number six A, he must have picked up the infection in hospital. Number six B, she pick up the infection, the infection in hospital. And the answer six A, um, so she pick up. The infection in hospital B. She is so sure. She picked up the infection in the in the hospital or somewhere. Number seven A. He can't have been feeling well or he would have come. B. He can't he can't be feeling well or he would come. And he is the answer number seven A. Sure he was he wasn't feeling well and B. Sure he doesn't. That's all for my part, so now let's move to another presenter. Hello. Would you please? Yeah, 
thing go on. Uh, it's good that as you can see in the picture, this article talk about the the resort to the resort you for you disaster or depression in in western to you in eastern and I It's a bit long, so you can do it by yourself on page 72 and 73. And I want to take this time to explain the meaning of words that have in the article. Move to the next slide, please. <laughs> the first <laughs> word is mindfulness and meditation. <laughs> mindfulness is a meditation therapy that builds strong mental mental health, builds its potential, and can also treat high problem without depression, stress, and both immun immunity. M mindfulness based therapy allow people to focus their mind in the present instead of the past or worrying about the future. And the second word is depression. Depression is the classified as a mood disorder. It may be described as feeling of okay. sadness loss or anger that interfere with a person every day, every day activity. It can also influence relationship and some chronic health condition. Sometimes they have negative thoughts about everything or something else. Some people use drug treatment when they feel uncom uncomfortable. And the third word is like expectancy and well-being. Well-being is expressed as overall life satisfaction said that life expectancy has increased the ball in developed country. In Austria, a 1900 female expert could expect to die before they were 40 years now they typically live, live past 80. It means that we are living longer in sickness rather than in health. At this point, I think that as at this point, I think that as a person gets older, his health will get worse. Unlike teenager, for some adolescents, they may be in poor health from an early age, so they can try to find way to treat the condition. And the next word is the very, the very well. It's the term that describes person mm -hmm. who are in relatively good health, in but believe themselves to be ill or likely to get an illness based on a current circumstance. Unless you are in excruciating pain or have something like threatening Western doctor, often have little, often have little to offer. In this reading, it means that many demise patients with low level complaints. And the last word is traditional Chinese medicine. They said about <laughs> in this word they said about treatment through acupuncture, herbal remedies, and mistakes are more successful in relieving conditions such as asthma, asthma, back pain, migraine, and stress. According to traditional Chinese American. medical yeah. theory, acupuncture. Acupuncture points are located on the um, uh, meridian through which vital energy run. And that's all on my point. Now I give the floor to the last presenter. Good evening, teachers, and good evening, classmates. So now let's continue with my point reading. Uh, there are two articles. Uh, the first one is talk about the color of prejudice, and the, 
article, uh, the article two is on page 157. So after you reading, uh, you will find out the answer of the question. Move to the next slide. Uh, the question one is talk about what the symptoms are. The symptoms are white pitch on the body. And the second uh, question, what problem is caused sufferer? The problem are physiologists pressure stemming from uh, sufferer seeing their bodies unhealthy, unattractive, or in some way disabled. And question number three, how many people is affected? Uh, according to the text, the disease affects at least one person in every hundred in country throughout the world. And question number four, what's caused the condition? Uh, the cause of condition generally classified as an autoimmune disorder. And question number five, how is it treated? And the treatment available ranging from life. Uh, therapy to oral medication <laughs> and strong sunscreen. Uh, let us see vocabulary. Here I add new three vocabulary for you guys uh, to make clear about the article. The first one is talk about autoimmune disorder. It is the condition in which your immune system mistakenly attack your body. And the second vocabulary, syndromes. Syndrome is a group of symptoms uh, which consistently occur together or and condition characterized by a set of associate symptoms. And the last vocabulary, pigmentation. Pigmentation is uh, referred to the coloring of the skin. Uh, here is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your pay attention. And if you have any uh any recommend you can tell us thank you let's tell you or ask you <laughs> okay so the word tell different from ask here okay, yeah. <laughs> because when you say yeah, let the listener uh, uh, tell you maybe the listener know much about your topic so then the presenter so what happened to the presenter the presenter waiting for the you know the answer from the listener okay no okay. Sir, i mean if uh, we have any mistake you can tell Okay, if you say mistake is another way, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, could you please uh, stop uh, turn the yeah, uh, sharing? Uh, I'm looking for where I can, I can stop that. Yeah. Okay, maybe here. Yeah. Okay, um, that's good. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, since we have a long time. Um, paying attention to the presenter, to groups of presenters. Um, I believe that um, some particular vocabulary are very, uh, very nice, very uh, good, which you can learn and you can note, note down and practice more. Since they have uploaded the vocabulary uh, textbook of that book already, so you can learn from the context. When you learn from the context of that vocabulary, you're going to improve. Since some of you, uh, even your pronunciation, uh, blah, 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 yeah, okay. So you need to make your pronunciation smoothly happen, um, you know, uh, fluently, and you know how to stress it. Sometimes presently, presently, do we have presently? Yeah, presently is a Khmer English, not English. Okay, it's a presently. So you see, this is. <laughs> I think Sophia laugh about that. Okay, Sophia, yeah. <laughs> so presently, okay, presently. Mm -hmm. So Edward, yeah, you need to yeah, attentively. You can you can practice. Okay, saying those words to improve your pronunciation because pronunciation is one of particular skill in English, okay? If you want your listener understand your message clearly, pronunciation play a very important role in terms of intonation, in terms of say, not just to get, good morning, teacher, how are you, teacher, panayat, you see? Very straight. <laughs> that, is, that is not in English. That is not English. <laughs> because English, we might say, good morning, how are you? What are you doing? You see? This should be intonation. Okay, now let's have a short break, 15 minute break. One, I think a uh, lot of you need to go to the bathroom and then just go uh, because I cannot uh, stay here. <laughs> okay, so let's have a 15 minute break, okay? After 15 minutes, we're gonna come back. Hey, you don't have to leave. Yeah, enjoy your, your short break. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, you good? 